What is coastal erosion? Coastal erosion is a natural process that occurs as a result of the sea in the form of waves, tides or currents striking the shore. Sediment or rocks are washed away and our coastline changes shape as a result. Coastal erosion is a natural, ongoing process that has been happening for thousands of years. As seawater collides with cliffs and shores, it causes sediment or rocks to be washed out to sea. In some instances, this material may be moved to a different part of the coastline and deposited in large quantities, causing what is known as accretion. This process is the opposite of erosion, and shorelines may advance or build up with sediment over time. Erosion can happen under any conditions, but its rate tends to increase when waves are powerful, for instance during storms or in high winds. Coastal erosion is a natural, is a natural process which has occurred for many, many millions of years. Essentially, it is the sea wearing away the land. The process occurs by waves, as you can see in the, here in the background, picking up shingle, sediment, all the wave energy and all the water itself actually wearing into either the beach or the rock that forms the land behind it. That rock may be soft rock, may be hard rock, but whatever rock it is, it will inevitably erode. Waves cause erosion in four main ways. When the constant force of water against the shore wears it away. When particles of rocks and sand in the waves grind cliffs down. When the action of water causes rocks and pebbles from the shore to smash into each other and break up. When acids in the sea slowly dissolve certain types of rocks. The way erosion changes different parts of our coastline depends largely on the type of rock. In other words, it's geology. Erosion of coasts with hard rocks tends to be slower and can form dramatic rock formations over time such as tunnels, bridges, columns or pillars. Where coastal geology is softer and formed out of sedimentary deposits such as soft cliffs, erosion can pose more of a risk for human settlements. Sedimentary rocks such as sandstone and chalk naturally erode more easily than rock, so the coastline recedes at a faster rate. The tremendous diversity of our coastline means that erosion rates vary significantly from area to area, causing some parts of the coast to erode faster than others. To put things into context, across England and Wales, about 28% of our coastline is affected in some way by erosion. However, rates vary according to location, from close to zero to an average of 1.8 metres per year. In reality, coastal erosion may manifest itself through events such as landslips, where many metres of land may be lost once every five or ten years. As you can see behind me, the, the erosion is affecting um, this particular section of coastline by eroding the, the parent rock on which the properties sit. Um, so it's actually putting properties and homes at risk from falling into the sea. Depending on the, ero on the geology of the, uh, the land that it's eroded into, it can be fast or slow. Hard geology, igneous rocks, they are, will erode very, very slowly. But soft rocks, much like these behind me, will erode much quicker. Rates of erosion are expected to increase by the end of this century because of increasing storms and rising sea levels brought about by climate change. Predicting these rates as accurately as possible is, of course, extremely important, not only for the people living in our coastal communities, but also for the Environment Agency's work managing defences and erosion.